Hey it's me, Akshay, I'm going to show you how to install my new Windows built Essence OS if you don't know already. If you don't know what's Essence OS then watch the release video of Essence OS to show how good it is for low end PCs. It will be in my channel page, the link in the description or the card icon over here but promise me that you will come back. And let's get back to the video. First go the link in the description and download the ISO. This site does contains ads, please click the right link. I don't want my viewer to have a virus. Follow my steps and be on track with me. If you follow on track you should be redirected to a Google Drive link. You can download Essence OS here. Then extract the RAR file with WinRAR. I will have a link if you don't have WinRAR. The RAR file also has the changelog and copyright text files. After the extraction you will need to download Rufus, download link will be in the description. Open Rufus and plug in a USB to make it a bootable USB for the installation. Pick disk or ISO image then click select then choose the ISO you downloaded. Pick GPT if you have an UEFI PC or pick MBR if you have an legacy PC. Then keep everything as normal. Also check these boxes, if you're using BitLocker then keep the last one unchecked. After clicking OK it will ask you to format the USB so save any data inside it. Then you need to plug in your USB to your PC or another PC, go to BIOS and boot from the USB. If you know how to into BIOS they're good for you, if not then go to start menu and click restart while holding shift in your keyboard. You should see this screen, click the use a device and boot into your USB. Then you should go to the setup. I will use a virtual machine for this installation with 2 cores and 2 GB RAM. You should be prompted with a regular Windows setup. Select custom and select your C, drive and delete it then select it, next. Since this is a virtual machine I don't have the option so just click next. Then it will start the install. Just sit back and watch some TikTok or shorts as the installation speed is dependent to your PC specs.
If this prompt shows then you did the installation properly. Name it anything you want or name it essence. Sit back and wait again. Then you should be auto logging in but we need to wait again. Trust me the wait is worth it. Then we are in the OS, before you leave this video I'll show you what to do for the best performance. But first we need to open Task Manager and wait for the OneDrive setup to finish.
After the OneDrive setup, restart your PC. Here's in reference to apps removed by Ghost Spectre vs Essence OS. Now open the folder in the desktop. Go to apps and install all of these essential apps for everyday uses. You might not know what Memreduct is, it's an app that cleans your RAM. Follow and copy my settings for the best result. Then go the CMDs folder and run all the CMDs. This is a virtual machine so I can't use this CMD. In this CMD you need to enter your RAM amount in MB and click enter. You can also type default to revert and assist if you don't know NMB. This gives the ultimate performance power plan, just select it. With this last CMD, OneDrive will be uninstalled completely both registry and system. In startup CMDs you need to copy paste these CMDs to the startup folder. Then the reg files, the best reg files are already inside of the OS so you can skip this folder. Then there's different variants of the wallpaper. All wallpapers are 1920 by 1080.
Then go to Settings, System, Notification and turn it off. Go to search and type view advanced system settings. Then install Chrome from the folder and enjoy Essence OS. If this OS helped your PC a lot then let me know by commenting this video. If you have any problems or question about the OS the comment too and I will answer them as fast as I can. And that's all for me. Hope you have an amazing day slash night. That's all for me. I'll see you later. And if you play Valorant and you want more FPS then watch this video. You won't regret it.